Welcome to the demonstration of Channelizer 2.1. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the um, noise generated by microwaves. So I've sped up, set up, sorry, uh, two microwaves in my kitchen, and I've taken plots of them. Um, this is the same setup that I had before, so if you're not familiar with my equipment, just go to video one and I'll describe it there. So you can see that I've got some Wi-Fi happening on channel one and once again my neighbor's Wi-Fi can be picked up in the kitchen on channel 11. At this point I start turning on my first microwave okay, and we'll start seeing some noise there. You'll see immediately um, in my topographic view that I'm starting to get noise mainly centered around 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and it's got a pretty distinctive pattern. Okay, you'll notice there's very little noise that it generates up here um, but it does seem to obliterate the, the neighbor's Wi-Fi, can't see it here, and it spreads itself down. Okay, so I'll just fast forward a little bit. Okay, so I've turned off microwave 1 over here, and now I'll turn on microwave 2. It too has a very distinctive pattern. Um, very reminiscent of the last one. You can see more noise that it generates over here. While well, it seems to have um, the scanning pattern. Now I'll just fast forward a little bit so we can see more of it at once. Okay. You notice it generates more noise down the um, lower end of the frequency range compared to the top one. Okay. This is pretty obvious that it's microwave. After a while, you get to recognize the equipment. Okay. So I'll fast forward a little bit more and what I've done in this situation is I've left the second microwave on and I've started Wi-Fi, uh, a Wi-Fi transfer. Okay, As I mentioned my Wi-Fi is on channel 1 and you can see the microwave emissions are still going although they're quite high and then there's this other subset of noise. If anyone can tell me what this subset of noise is I'd love to know. Um, Sam are at y-spy.com.au and so I'll just fast forward some more. I turned off the first microwave and now I'm turning on the second one. Okay, You can see um, it's a pattern of noise. It's a little bit harder to see than the previous one. Um, but at all this point the transfer keeps on going, albeit for this small section here. Um, so on channel 1 in this case, um, in my, using my equipment and my Wi-Fi and my microwave, the, um, the Wi-Fi is unaffected by microwaves. We'll continue the demonstration of the microwave. What I've got here, just fast forward back to the start, is I wanted to see what would happen if the microwave um, would affect the transfers if I moved my Wi-Fi to 6. If you remember, on the previous situation, the microwave traffic seemed to be centered on, or would affect channel 6, centered around 8. So I wanted to see what would happen in that case. And this is what I've done in this situation. So I'll just fast forward a little bit. We'll move the time scale up to a minute. And you can see here, there's my Wi-Fi. There's the neighbor's Wi-Fi once again sitting on channel 11, my Wi-Fi on 6. So first thing I did was I started transferring my file. Okay, so you can see it here, I'll just press play. I'll pause it. At this point here, you can see, or well, it, it should be obvious that I started turning on the microwave. In this case, it was the first microwave. You can see that I'm starting to drop um, Wi-Fi packets ever so slightly around here. Um, it isn't really affecting my transfer, okay? Um, my download. I, it's not really that obvious. If I was doing maybe Skype or some real-time activity, it might be noticeable at this stage. So there we go. And I stopped microwave one at this point, so it becomes clean again and I turn on microwave 2. This one generated a lot more power um, and it too seems to interfere with the Wi-Fi traffic 
um, but not to a huge degree. Okay, it is definitely larger than the first microwave, um, but once again, it, the my Wi-Fi traffic keeps on going. And just to reiterate the point, um, that in my case, using my equipment and my microwaves, that um, the microwave doesn't seem to have an effect on my Wi-Fi traffic.